Well, at the extreme southern edge of Antarctica, beneath 900 meters of ice in pitch black seawater, well, life has found a way. The surprise discovery of what appears to be sea sponges living in such extreme conditions have scientists baffled. The finding was recently published in Frontiers in Marine Science, outlining how geologists used hot water equipment to drill a borehole through 3,000 foot thick ice shelf in Antarctica's Weddell Sea. They then lowered a video camera into the dark seawater below, expecting to find a muddy seafloor, but were dismayed when they hit a boulder, which meant they couldn't get their intended sediment samples. But that's when the camera showed colonies of stationary animals attached to the rock, sea sponges and other related sea creatures. Funnily enough, at first the scientists were disappointed. It was quite a mission to travel that far, hoping to learn more about the actual seafloor. And that's because Antarctica is ringed with more than half a million square kilometers of these ice shelves, but so little is known about the seafloor below. Everything we know about these environments under the ice comes from just a handful of holes drilled by people through the ice and then cameras lowered down. This means that we really don't know that much and the total area that human beings have seen under the ice shelves adds up to about the size of a tennis court. Instead, the team was left with a discovery that has opened up a literal can of worms when it comes to what we thought we knew about life in hostile environments. Small, mobile animals like shrimp have been seen before beneath ice shelves, but no one expected to see stationary animals like these. They can't exactly wander around to find food. In order to survive, they would have to feed on floating material from other animals or plants because it's impossible for plants to photosynthesize in sunless seawater. What's really exciting about what we found is that this finding throws up more questions than it answers. We have no idea what species these animals are. We don't know how they're coping with these extreme conditions. And the only way we're going to be able to answer those questions is to come up with a new way of investigating their world. As the lead author of the study said, life can exist in environments where science suggests it should not. I mean, it's no Jeff Goldblum, but that's not bad. And now, you're science smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.